organized set is vital to every project. Sets has been a popular feature that allows users to navigate an unlimited number of separate files as if they are a single document in a single tab. You can filter and organize files and automatically identify, sort, and insert revisions and addenda. New in Review 2015, Sets 3.0 includes four enhancements. First, we've added categories. So you have the ability to tag files within a set as belonging to a specific user-defined category. These categories are displayed as collapsible sections within the Sets tab, similar to bookmarks that can be arranged in any order, such as by discipline. Now your files can be automatically assigned to categories based on pre-configured or user-created templates. Let's create a new set and take a look at how Categories operates. I'm going to open up my Sets tab and add a new set. You'll notice when I select to add files to my set, it comes up with a new Categories template box. So Review 2015 comes pre-configured with a construction template already built for you. If you click on Templates, you have the ability to edit this one. And just to show you how it works, so Review is looking for file names that start with any of these letters. And whenever they do, they're going to tag them with this corresponding category. Anything that starts with an S is going to be tagged structural. You can go in and add new categories by clicking on the plus sign. You can reorder the categories, delete one, or you could actually double click on one and edit it yourself. If you do make any changes to this template, I suggest you save it and name it as a new template. I'm going to go ahead and keep this as is. And I'm going to select my original files that I'm going to load into this set. You'll notice now in my set, I have these categories that were in the template. I'm just going to go ahead and collapse them so you can see it's now much easier to look for the exact sheet that you need. If I know I need one of my architectural sheets, I can just scroll through that particular category. And this is going to work the same whether you're in the thumbnails view like I have now or the list view. Now, we're going to talk about the next two enhancements together, and these are the revision filter enhancement and also the ability to carry over any markups, hyperlinks, or other file metadata to the revised file. So let's say the, the architect sends me uh, a few revised sheets that I want to go ahead and add into this set, and I want them to be stacked, and it clearly shows me which is the latest revised sheet. I'm going to go in here and select to modify my set. Now, if you remember in previous uh, versions of review with sets, you had to set up these revision filters by hand. Now, in sets 3.0, we have an auto setting that's on by default for the revision filter. Auto is set up to detect a wide range of revision naming scenarios automatically for you. The Review 2015 Help Guide will give you a full list on this range of scenarios. There's also a few additional options that you'll see in this advanced dialog box. The first one is to copy markups to newly added revisions. This refers to the third enhancement. So when you're adding revised files, if there were any markups on the original documents, such as this A201, you don't want to lose those when we put in the revised sheet. So they're going to be automatically copied over for you. You can also select to flatten those markups after they're copied. Also, you can check to apply a superseded stamp on any previous revision so it's really clear what is the latest version of the file. I'm going to go ahead and add my revision sheets to the set. And just to point out, this A201 revision 1 sheet does not have any markups on it. Let's go ahead and add in those revised sheets. You'll notice a dialog box pops up that says Modify Pages. 
This refers to our third enhancement in sets 3.0, which is the ability to automatically carry over markups, hyperlinks, and other file metadata when adding revised files. So when I select OK here, any markup, hyperlink, or spaces from the original drawing will be copied over to the revised drawing. If you remember correctly, that A201 file, the original had the hyperlinks, but the revision didn't. Now you'll notice that the revised file, the Rev1 file, had all of those markups and hyperlinks automatically copied over. If you click the arrow on the stack, You'll notice the original file has a stamp that says superseded and it's crossed out so you can clearly see that this is a previous version. This is the original file here. Every project is bound to have changes and managing these revisions just got easier with sets 3.0. Another enhancement involves performance. You may also notice that the load time for sets has been dramatically improved, especially for sets opened from external and network locations. Our final enhancement in Sets 3.0 is the integration of Compare Documents and Overlay Pages directly into Sets. Whenever you have a revised sheet that is stacked onto the original, you can right-click on that revised sheet and it will give you the option to either compare documents or overlay pages directly from sets. These work the same way that you're used to. As you can see, compare documents is going to cloud all of the differences and create a new file called differences that shows you all of the changes. We've just made it quicker and more convenient if you need to see exactly what has changed with the revision. We hope you enjoy trying out the new powerful enhancements in SETS 3.0. Let us know how you like using them in your daily work.